hello guys hello guys and welcome to the channel i hope that you are all doing good hoping that you are all great love too my name is nicholas and i thank you all for joining this live stream please don't forget to click that like button subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell guys it really goes a long way to help this channel to grow very much appreciate the support uh, let me just con confirm ish just to confirm and be sure would very very this live stream is really live because last time last night i was alone guys last night i was literally alone but yeah everything is good so guys it looks like munare is in trouble and he might even get more punishment than that red card you know from what he did i don't know maybe maybe i'm subjective maybe i'm looking at this from the point of view of being a pirates fan and in denial of the truth i don't know you know uh maybe you guys will tell me i'll show you the video again but uh monare got a red card as you guys saw against richard spay they're saying that he pushed the ball boy but yesterday we played the clip uh we didn't see it maybe or i didn't see it like i'm saying maybe i'm looking at it from a point of view with me and if any pirate or what i don't know Ish, guys it's hot it's hot so i'm just going to go ahead and just play it one more time yeah but so that you guys can tell me what do you think what do you see in this video you know because i didn't see where munare was physical with the the ball boy but manje which you are the head of referees of safa is not happy with what munare did and they are asking for in you know a psl to take action further action against tabang munare so there must be something that Munari did, you know. So let's just go through it one more time. Let's just go through it, J. One more time and see exactly what is happening in this video. So let me just play it. Deflection, and then obviously, uh, Ball Boy has the ball. Count how many seconds is keeping the ball to himself. And then Munari takes the ball, gives it to Lamini. That's just what happened, you know. So let me just zoom it maybe maybe it needs a zooming so that we can see yeah let me try and zoom it again okay? maybe we can see something different ball boy takes the ball moving with the ball okay monare takes the ball gives it to Lamini. that's what i see guys that's what i am seeing you know so i don't know guys i don't know you guys will tell me uh which point of view you have here but i do not see where monare was physical to ulo ipol boy but again okay, the head of referees at the south african football association abdul ibrahim is urging the premier soccer league to take action against monare you know and yeah he needs to do it guys uh, they're saying that there must be action they're saying that he needs to take action against Tabang Munare. So uh, this is what the, 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 the head of referees is saying. I've just received the video material. And according to the referee and his team, it appears that Munare's behavior towards the ball boy was unacceptable. He reportedly shoved him and this incident occurred around the 88th minute. While it may be a, a result of player frustration, Directing that to the ball boy is inappropriate. I believe that the ball boy was pushed and the incident has been reported to PSL. Now we await the PSL response as this falls within their jurisdiction. The referee and much official have a duly, uh, you know, have duly reported this incident. Therefore, let's allow the PSL to take the necessary steps to conduct an investigation and determine the appropriate cause of action. Now is over it. So that's what has been said. So again, did did Munari shove the ball boy? Maybe we have a one, you know, angle which doesn't show everything. I don't know, but let's see. I have a feel so to be honest, the angibon mean angiboni. Like I'm saying, maybe there's a different angle that will actually show what he actually did shove the ball boy. But the way I'm seeing it, I'm sorry guys. 
even now i don't see what really did monare do except for taking the ball from the ball boy who was delaying to give the ball you know to our players you know so that's what i see but we'll see you know a uh, sponsor g message retracted i don't know why but yeah we'll see what's gonna happen you know going forward but uh, like i'm saying according to the head of referees this is inappropriate from monare and he must be punished you know there must be some sanctions action taken against him further than just the red card you know so hey we're gonna see we're gonna see guys what's going to happen but i'm in a buffet to a ah young puzzle you know uh, i think number ball boy now they must teach them their job is simple when the ball is out just take the ball and give it to the player who needs to get the ball that's just it this thing of delaying also is wrong you know monare got frustrated and yeah they are right his frust taking his frustration out on the ball boy is wrong but did he really take the, the the frustration out on the ball boy one two three four guys more than 10 seconds the ball boy has been keeping the ball to himself takes the ball i am sorry guys from all different you know point of views but still i don't see anything that you know was physical to a point where the ball boy will fall like that so if it's my mistake i apologize maybe like i'm saying maybe i'm subjective you know but i'm trying guys like i really am trying Mm. Hey, maybe I'm sharing an elbow, a mover, or something. I don't know. I don't know. There must be something that was seen by the referee to give him that red card, guys. There must be something. And if he really did it, guys, maybe the angle doesn't show it. If he really did it, then eesh, it's not nice because now they are dragging a lot of situations. But I don't think it's about Zungu. You know, I play with pirates, it's very physical. It's very wrong. It's very wrong. So if he really did it, uh, unfortunately, the law must take its course. You know, but to be honest with you, I don't see it, guys. Like, honestly, like, I'm going to mix me. Like, I don't see anything. You know, I would be lying if I would say that I see Munari being physical with this ball boy. Uh, Simba says, the ball ball as well. The ball boy is the problem, says Simba Mokandazama. And then Sponsor Chi says, hi, this is nonsense. I suga, they failed to deal with serious matters. Munari didn't touch the ball. The boy, he took the ball uh, with both hands and throws it to the corner. Maybe it's not allowed. Not allowed to take the ball. Ah, man, you must wait and let the. She's delaying. Like, if we try and count the seconds also, you know, with how long, you know, the, this has delayed. Let's. Bear. Bear, 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 bear. Spons. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Brad, close to 10 seconds, keeping the ball to himself, this ball boy. And we just need to take the corner you know so maybe it's not allowed to take the ball maybe you have a point maybe maybe Munari knows the rules which you're not allowed to take the ball from the ball boy you know maybe if that's the case then it is what it is but yeah uh, according to what i'm getting they're not happy with him and he might face something further than that red card so we'll see what's going to happen as it develops i'll let you know of what really happens you know in that regard 